Hi everyone, it's Hannah Ross. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be answering the question, am I lying to you? Is there an area of my minimalist wardrobe that I am not letting you in on? And if I'm being honest, there kind of is. There is an entire section of clothing, not too many pieces, but an entire section of clothing that I wasn't sure that I was going to share as part of my minimalist wardrobe collection. That's because it's sleepwear, and that's something that I feel like is kind of very personal, but I decided to because I wanted to show that you really don't need a large sleepwear collection, first and foremost. And second, there are so many sentimental items in my sleepwear category. It's a really fun category for me to go through. So I wanted to show a bright and colorful and fun category of clothing, kind of similar to my dress collection in that sense, but just not as many pieces. I have six items that I'm going to talk about, but only four outfits. That's because I have two pajama sets, one for summer, one for winter, and I have two robes, again, one for summer and one for winter. Even though a lot of these items are actually gifts and sentimental, it just so happened that they fell into those categories. So I cannot wait to show you them. And without further ado, let's get into my first pajama set. So here we are. This is my first pajama set. Couldn't tell you where they are from. And here are the shorts. Um, everything's rubbed off at this point. I've had these for a few years. So it's just a little short and shirt combo. These were actually a gift, a bridesmaid's gift from a dear, dear friend of mine. So they are extremely sentimental to me and I never would, you know, part with them in the first place unless they didn't fit or something like that. Um, but I would have never parted with them anyways. But it just so happens that these pieces I wear all the time. They're so comfortable, they're so cute, they're a really nice pattern. See, they have this like pink and purple and a little bit of red detail and a floral pattern. They're really, really gorgeous pajamas. They fit really, really nicely and I just love wearing them. There's something very special about putting on a pajama set. If you're a pajama person, you know what I mean. And typically as a minimalist, this isn't something that I would necessarily gravitate towards having like a bunch of pajama sets, but just having like one or two special pajama sets that make you feel cozy and somehow put together before you're going to bed. I don't know, makes you feel like a real adult, like you're doing something right and this world when you put on your little pajama set for bed. So this set was the first one I had to talk about and I absolutely love the little shorts and t-shirt combo with a cute little collar. All right, my face was turning the shade of a tomato because I was trying to get no noise pollution, but the heat pump is on now. Couldn't handle the heat, but that's okay because guess what's up next? My Christmas pajamas. And don't I look a little bit like Santa? with these red cheeks, I think I do. Anyways, back to the garments themselves. This is a matching set that I have with um, some family members. And of course, these mean the world to me. Like I am a sentimental Christmas lover. You couldn't rip these from my cold dead hands. Like I absolutely love this matching set. And because I'm a minimalist, and because I love that Christmas joy and don't think it should be reserved just for December, I actually bust these out year round. Not gonna lie, if it's slightly chilly, I absolutely will be wearing this cute little plaid top. Look how sweet it is. Doesn't that just make you happy? Even in the middle of July, like makes me so happy. So I will absolutely wear this top and or these pants. Look how cute. The plaid is just so Christmassy, so delightful, and that Christmas in particular was just such an incredible one. The one where I got these pajamas, I don't know, there was really something special about that Christmas. It was our first in this house here in Canada, and my husband and I could not have had a better time. We also got engaged like a few days later after Christmas on January 1st, so suffice it to say, I adore these pajamas. I love them oh so much. They are so meaningful, they are so special, but I do get my use out of them. 
I do wear these when it is even slightly chillier. So I am not sitting on, you know, two items in my wardrobe that I absolutely never wear or I pull out once a year. No, 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 that ain't me. If I have these Christmas pajamas, I'm gonna put them on. And if that means the middle of July, well, that means the middle of July. So that was it for my pajama sets. That was my summer pajama set and my winter pajama set. And next up is the robe category. Honestly, I love a good robe. It makes you feel so cozy and cared for. And just like you're at a spa, I don't know what it is about a robe. It just elevates the experience, whatever it may be. So I have a summertime robe, which is very beautiful. It's also blue. So if anyone can guess what this was for, you win a million bucks. Um, yes, it was a gift for my wedding and it was from some of my best friends in the entire world. Very, very sweet. You'll see this robe better on the cutaways, but it's this really gorgeous blue color and again has like a floral pattern, which I find very, very beautiful. And I wear this all the time. Again, it was a gift. Um, and it was meant for a special occasion. And of course I wore it on my wedding day. Of course I did getting ready, but I also wear it in my real life too. Um, I do this very frequently. If I receive something, a gift, an item of clothing, and it is meant for you know a designated time, no, I will wear it other times. Like this isn't gonna be stored away in a box. This is something I am going to use and love and wear Every single time I do, of course you know what I'm gonna say, I think about my wedding morning, I think about how special those memories are, and I think about the friends who lovingly bought this for me. Like that is just such a kind gesture. They are my two best friends in the entire world, and yeah, this is a very sentimental piece that I love oh so much, and it's actually very practical for some smoking hot days in the summer that you just don't want to be in like a full pajama set or something like that. It's really nice to have a more casual style robe just to roam around the house in. All right, and it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that we are now on the winter robe. And this, <laughs> this is a huge, giant towel robe. This one is from Gluckenstein Home. Um, the last one was by Le'Veon Rose, by the way, and this one is from Gluckenstein Home. Gluckstein? Gluckstein. Gluckstein Home, potentially. Uh, it's from the Hudson's Bay Company, and I have one in the small to medium, and then I got one for my husband in the, I think it was medium to large or large to extra large. So we actually have little matching robes, which I love. Now, this is something that you might think um, isn't really necessary. It's just not a necessary item in a wardrobe, but I actually wear this so much. Because it's that towel material and it's really, really thick, I frequently wear it after I have dried off with a regular towel after my shower. I find, you know, after you take a warm shower, you don't wanna get chilly right away. And in the middle of winter where the heat might not be on as hot as you want, like this is just that perfect in-between item to wear around your house. I love it. Plus there's something in my brain when I see a white robe, it just signals spa time for me. I don't know why. It just is like all the bells in my head say, spa time, treat yourself, do a hair mask, do a face mask, whatever. Just, you know, give yourself a little TLC. And for some reason, this robe just always makes me think of that. And another thing, another thing that I have to go on a very short rant about, hotel robes. This also makes me think that I am in a hotel and there is nothing on planet Earth, you can ask my husband, there is nothing that makes me happier than a nice hotel room with a robe. <laughs> I don't know why. To me, it's like the epitome of luxury. I know it's not, but a, a nice hotel room and a robe, those two things are just like so absurdly luxurious to me that, I don't know, it makes me so excited. So having that experience at home with this wintertime robe is just one of those things that makes your actual home that you live in day in and day out 
feel a little more luxurious. So that is my final, you know, wardrobe piece, but I actually have a bonus item to talk about that go on your feet. All right, here they are. These maybe could have been included in my shoe collection, but honestly, they're like not a shoe that I wear outside ever. That is because they are my slippers. These ones are the Nook Nook slippers. I believe they're from Costco. They were also a gift. Ugh, I have a lot of loving people in my life, don't I? Um, anyways, these were also a gift and I love them. They are just so soft and fluffy on the inside. And I have never been a slipper person. In uh, my old condo, I used to have heated floors, never needed slippers. I don't know, I just was never a slipper person. And then I got to this house and I was like, my feet are always freezing, I need something on them. And uh, my mother and father-in-law purchased a pair of slippers for me and my husband um, that special Christmas I was talking about with that pajama set. So I love having these on hand. I wear them all the time around the house and yeah there's something again that I don't know if you need or not as a minimalist but I definitely enjoy having them in my collection and for me they have kept my little toes warm for a few years here so I'm very grateful to have them in my life they are a little banged and bruised they have like some oil stains and I don't know maybe that's a coffee stain but that's okay they're just slippers no one's gonna see them and yeah I love having them in my life and they just add that like cozy factor to your wardrobe. So love these oh so much. All right, my friends, this might be one of the shortest videos I've ever done, but I didn't have too many pieces to talk about, but I really just felt compelled to share that aspect of my wardrobe. I think that in these minimalism videos, you can get very fixated on just showing the perfect stuff, on just showing the matching things, the uh, beautiful pieces, the luxurious pieces, everything that goes together and coordinates well and is aesthetically pleasing. Well, guess what? Sometimes we have areas of our wardrobe that don't look like that. Uh, those pieces all don't match. They're bright, they're colorful, they're a little all over the place, and I love each of them. So remember that everyone's a human. Everyone has these aspects of their wardrobes that A, might not be absolutely necessary. I could easily get away with just the loungewear pieces that I have in my collection. And B, might not look perfect in your wardrobe. So I hope this one was fun. It was sentimental and I'm sure you can see I'm smiling just because of all the memories associated with these like sleepwear pieces. Made me so happy to go through them all with you here today. So again, thank you so, so much for clicking on this video, for watching this video. If you did like it, um, feel free to give it a like. And if you like me and you like my content in general, please consider subscribing. It would truly mean the world to me. Thank you for spending a small part of your day here with me on my channel. And I really hope to catch you in my next minimalism video. All right, everyone. Bye for now. Bye.